We are heading to to the movies. LJ, what are we going to see at the movies? Yep. Yes, Peace Dragon. LJ is so soft-spoken. He's so soft-spoken. Like when I tell him to call his mommy and say, Mommy, I'm ready, he'd be like, Mommy, I'm ready. Like he doesn't yell. He won't yell. Unless he's mad or you try to take something from him, then he goes into a feral state where he wanna fight me like ah, ah, ah. Now I'm fooling with you. Yeah, so I have no idea what the I kinda know what the movie is about, but I really don't know what it's about, Jay. Can Beast you Dragon know is something? a classic, man. It was a uh, Disney movie that they did in the beginning where they had Elliot as a cartoon dragon. Uh that used to be the only way that they could really splice film. Uh before CGI, you know, they would just put cartoons in the movie, like you know, you have um like uh, bed knobs and broomsticks and uh, what's the other one? Um, Mary Poppins and stuff like that. You know, they had, they built they, they quick the cartoons. The things that you couldn't see were cartoons because that's the only way they could do it. But now mm -hmm. with CGI, they actually have CGI'd Elliot just like they're going to CGI Falcor uh, this time in the, in the next never end story when they bring it back. I um, cannot wait for that. That's like my favorite childhood movie. But that's what, but that's not what we, I thought it was Goonies. I don't even know you anymore. I know, Jay. Goonies is like my teenage movie, but my childhood movie is the Never Ending Story. Gotcha. But anyway, so like we were saying, uh, but Goonies came out before Never Ending Story, didn't it? I don't think it did. Yeah, I think it did. Y'all, anyway, ladies and gentlemen. That's all part of my childhood, so. All right, you know. cool. But anyway. You probably, you probably, I understand what you're saying. You probably didn't get into Goonies until teenage years because that was a teenage type movie. But anyway, we take it too long. We're going to see Peace Dragon. Peace Dragon. LJ's going to enjoy it. And afterwards, maybe he's going to want, he, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to want to Elliot the Dragon because after, uh, what was the movie? What was the other movie that we saw? Uh, the Good Dinosaur. After we saw The Good Dinosaur, he had to have an Arlo and he had to have Spot. And uh, we got him a big Arlo and then, uh, I think a week or two later, I bought him that spot, and he was just doing like it was. And then he had to get butch. Yeah, and then he had to get butch. So, you know, it, it is what it is, and man. And they just sit there. And they, well, no, he plays with them, but now he plays with his little rubber babies. He likes those better. So he has a dragon, but it's a uh, Night Scream from um, How to Train Your Dragon, whatever it is. I, f I forgot what his name is. The black one from How to Train Your Dragon. So he loves that dragon. He takes him to school every day because he has to have his fidget toy. But anyway, so like I said, we're going to see Peach Dragon. Hopefully it's gonna be really good. We will review the movie for you guys with uh, no spoilers afterwards. And of course the movie starts at eleven thirty and it's eleven twenty seven. Well, I mean that's all your fault. You was in the shower last. I was in the shower first. It ain't my fault that I took fifteen minutes and you took three. So, okay, okay, cause I was like, I took a little longer than three. So you took longer than three. It's like ten. But that ain't the point. I had. Um, you yeah. wait till last minute shower. Yeah, of course I did. What, what, what other way would we do it? But anyway, like I said, man, we're going to go. We'll check it out. See how the movie is. And hopefully it's really good, man. So um, ho hopefully they have some Peach Dragon like memorabilia or something like that. Yeah, we won't there. be buying because it's going to be overpriced. Oh, we're not going to buy it, but I'm talking about so we can, uh, they can take pictures oh, and stuff okay. like that. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys in a few. Bridget, stop the camera for me. Oh, Jay, listen. That opened up a $3 cafe. They did open up a $3 yeah. cafe? Shoot, we might have to hit that up. Go. Go. Go, you gotta go. Going to see Peach Dragon. Are you excited? Are you excited? Tell them what we're going to see, Eze. What we're going to see. Dragon. Good job. Come on. It's in here. Peach Dragon. It's in here. Peach Dragon. We're going in. And mommy's on the way. Let's go. Alright, so what do you think of the movie, babe? I thought the movie was great. I've never watched the um original version right before so i thought it was good and i thought it was touching um uh, lj went to sleep on us of course of course he did but i mean well what were you saying about that if it's not animated all the way yeah but... yeah i think lj likes more animated um kids movies but let me tell you guys something but he stayed awake the whole time for suicide squad so i don't get it but well, yeah, well anyway but let me tell you guys something real fast like i was going into the movies and i was getting the popcorn and stuff and there was actually parents taking their kids to go see the sausage party i don't think they don't realize that that movie is not for kids but they're going to be in for a rude awakening yeah they're going to be in for a rude awakening because this sausage party like like i thought you were saying that there are parents going in the sausage party with the kids that's one thing because that means the parents are going to see it and you know, the kids are just tagging along and they're going to end up going to sleep. They don't know they're watching like, like when we go watch. Yeah, that's what's happening. They had their kids in the movies with them to go see Sausage Party. Now, were they taking the kids to see Sausage Party or were the kids going along with them to see Sausage Party? What yeah, difference a huge, does that make? That is a huge that's difference. That's not no huge difference. That is a huge difference. Why would you take your kids to go see the Sausage Party? Okay, listen. 
we've gone to see movies like um, Total Recall and all of that with yeah, LJ. Yeah, but that's when LJ didn't, didn't even know any better. Like, he's real small. These kids, they know. But that's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm asking you. That's not what you're saying. I said, were parents taking their kids to see Sausage Party or were kids going along to Sausage Party with their parents? It's Does the it, same thing. It's not the same thing. It is the same thing. If we go see a movie, like if we go see uh, Star Trek, LJ's not going to see Star Trek. He's just going along with us. But if we go, if, but if we're taking him to see Star Trek, that's a completely different thing. We took him to see Peace Dragon. He didn't just go along with us. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I like, were they taking, were they taking you their know, children? I just stopped the interview there and asked him those questions. Well, I'm just saying, but the way that you're saying it, you're saying, you're saying it like, they're taking the children to see Sausage Party under the pretense that it's a children's move. Like, do you think that that's, they, that's, you, that's what I honestly think, yes. Okay, so, yeah, so that's a huge difference between they're just tagging along with them to see it. I disagree with how you said it, but okay. Well, that's what I mean. It, like, do you think that they thought that Sausage Party is a, yeah, a kid's yeah, movie? Yeah, I think they thought it was a kid. They probably think it's a kid's movie. That's why I said, well, that's why I said they're about to be in for a rude awakening. Oh, yeah, they're going to be like Rick Rude in the rude awakening, dog. Like, it's, that's, that's not a kid movie. I thought you were just saying, like, you know, kids were going in with their parents. I'm like, that didn't mean nothing wrong with that. But if you're saying, hey, guys, hey, kids, let's go see Sausage Party. Like, that's something. Yeah, I think they look like some parents that may not have watched the preview. Right. And they just saw it was, yeah, that's not. Don't take kids to see Sausage Party, dog. Unless they're mature enough and all that. But, I mean, I can't tell you what to do with your children. You know, you do, do what you want to do, but... Sausage Party not a kid movie. <laughs> it's not a movie for kids. But uh we almost like taking it like like taking your kid to see, hey, let's go see Friday the thirteenth. You know, instead of saying, All right, baby, you get in here and you go to sleep now while we watch this movie. Like like if, if it was like that, that's one thing. But I guess it's in the middle of the day. In the middle of the oh day God, now, really baby. Drink. I seem to think of only you. Hey, hey. Oh yeah. Why your face is like that? Breath. But anyway, oh, you looking dry right now, Jay. <laughs> but anyway, man, like I was saying, sometimes you gotta. No, it's fine. Thanks. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, man, it was a good movie. Great movie. Uh, great heartfelt movie. And um, I mean, it, it definitely it was he reminded me of Falcor. Yeah, he definitely reminds you of Falcor. Can't wait to see the never ending story. Now, um, let me see. It's a good mix of kiddiness, but it also will keep the adults entertained for just just long enough. Like the adults will see all the foreshadowing coming, but the kids will be so surprised and they'll just be like, oh my goodness, like like that part where you're like, yeah, you see that in the background, yeah, okay, they're gonna use that in a second. That's and why then, that's why you kept saying that. Like you, yeah, know, like, you talk too much in the movie. It's foreshadowing, dog. I can't help well, it. Well I don't but. need to foreshadow out loud. Alright, well anyway, what are we giving this one? Eight straight up? I, no, I, no, I give it a nine. Okay, so we're going to give it a nine for a kiddie movie then. Yeah. Nine for the kids. It's probably an eight straight up for the adults, maybe even a seven. But um, but if you have children, yeah, I mean, it's a good, it's a good movie. Um, it, It's not for, what was the last kiddie movie we saw? Uh, Finding Dory. Finding Dory was one, was a, was a kiddie movie that any Oh, children, Pets Life. Um, yeah, like, A Secret Life of Pets. That's a <laughs> movie that children of all ages can will probably get and enjoy this one i'm probably thinking you know six or seven and on up will probably enjoy it the most but like uh secret life of pets any any child any age could watch it and laugh and and be you know entertained by it but i think this is probably gonna be six plus is what i'm thinking you know will be the most entertained now the smaller children will be entertained by it, but i'm just saying that if you have smaller children let's say if you got a three-year-old or four-year-old and or and maybe a six-year-old like if you have a mixture of children let me know if your if your older children enjoyed it seem to get it a little, they'll probably enjoy it but the older children will get it a little bit more but secret life of pets it was just fun the whole way through and lj just was like hey, hey it's great doggy you know stuff like that so not a lot of doggy moments and there's more like ah dragon you know so but anyway uh, definitely go see it if you got children, but uh, let me know if you take your children to see it Do you do you notice that the older children get it a little bit more or seem to enjoy it a little bit more than the uh, younger children? Well, I think they should right? Uh, I think yeah, it's a I think that's what I'm saying I think it's like for targeted toward people that are six plus mm. whereas as Whereas Secret Life of Pets uh, as soon as they as soon as they're 
knowing that they're watching something they can enjoy and find them door was the same way. Yeah. So, you know, anyway, we already talked too long, man. We're going to be up out of here. Till next time. It's your girl, Bree, Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, B.K.A. The People's Champ, baby. This is your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, B.K.A. The People's Champ. Hello. Don't Hello. forget to check out our reaction channel. Link down in the description, man. Peace. Three, six, seven, 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 seven. Really?